Now, look, listen, talking about abusing women, that's so amazing. This nonsense about Trump with the women. You had a president. Have you seen like, how ugly these women are? That's my segment. Listen, trust me, if I'm going to abuse dude, women, they're going to be real pretty. Dude, dude, could get ugly. You better shut the fuck up. <laughs> now, listen, you're dealing with no real diagram. This is a f fucking pro right here, okay? Come on, fumes. Eat me like I ate your mother. Shut the fuck up. Let me tell my drug. Listen. Wait a minute, what's going on? Wait, wait, wait. You're voting for right there. Excuse me. Yeah. I don't know if you know this. I'm going to be the next president of the United States, okay? Yeah. I don't know what, yeah, I'm playing who you are, you, just, you have I'm your name after the street. My name's on buildings. Let me tell you, you don't mess with this guy. He's got a joke for everything. Now look, Bill Clinton had a real blowjob in the White House. Sure. Yeah. All right? And everybody said, ah, oh, it's his personal life. Doesn't matter, he's a great president. Well, they, maybe Donald they Trump. Impeach him? Yeah, they yeah, did, but so they didn't get it didn't matter. Convicted. Right, I know, but they did. Officially, so they did. So he made $300 million after he got the blowjob, basically. The point is, the point is, there's no proof about anything with Donald Trump. He said something to Billy Bush. I said, thing, I kissed Papa Boo's ass once on Howard Stern. Does that mean I can't run for Congress? <laughs> I don't know. I, trust me, I said to Billy Bush, we're, we're long, we, we both T-boned a few girls. It was a great time. You got good material, man. <laughs> Who writes the material? Like, Wait a second. We'll hold everything. I know what this guy's problem is. He's over here. He says he's a supporter of me. He's talking shit to me. Who writes his like a motherfucker. Al Franken, who's your writer? <laughs> <laughs> you laugh at everything you say, don't you? <laughs> Mary Jane, everybody. Yeah. Oh, she's so beautiful. Pretty <laughs> strong. In America. See, that's the attitude I was looking for. Except for Melania Trump. Now look, let's just get this very clear. Florida, Ohio, North Carolina, Iowa, they're all gonna go for Trump. All the states Romney got, plus Michigan, that's me. Yes. Wisconsin, New Hampshire, Nevada, game over. Watch Kim at 11.30, Jimmy Kim at 11.30. It's gonna be game over the sit the the day I'm elected, it's going to be game over everywhere. Trust me. Me, Vladimir are Putin, are going to destroy you everybody. I'm like 12 years old. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you doing we're going to take hey, over the whole world. Hey, hey hold on, Donald. I've been seeing you hang out with some girl. You said you were going to bring her tonight. Is she here? She's not here tonight. Let's call her and find out why. She's She's got to wake up early in the morning? Let me call her right now. <laughs> She's supposed to come here, but nothing but nice to her. We wanted her to come tonight with you, and what do you do? What's your, what's your name again? It's Olivia. Okay, okay. Is he important? Maybe I should have been nicer to you. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, I have a movie deal. Listen, we're going to have camps. You're going to be in one of them. It's no problem. Okay, we've got Olivia on the line. She might be a little angry when she answers the phone, I'll be honest. Why? We'll find out. But why would she be upset? She's a wonderful girl. Please don't mention I said that. Hey, it's Olivia. Uh, she's got a long voicemail, please trust me. Is there a phone number in there to you? No. You're saying you're going to be mad about something. I just wanted to find out why. All right, anyway, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> What's the deal, man? She's not there. She, she's got a long, Call long... Call ten more times! I like the way Mary Jane's thinking right there. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Jane knows exactly what to say every single time. Yeah, Mel, what was your point in So, two amazing things, by the way. What's that? Before we get back to the election. Hold on, I don't know if I should say this or not. I ran into a former Ding Dong member today on Hollywood Boulevard. Who's this? Who? Amanda? Yes. Or what did you say to her? Well, we were talking and... Uh...